What's up everybody, it's your girl Lanadia back with another video. And as you can see, I don't have any shoes on. Bro. That's because we are testing the cheapest sneaker to the most expensive sneaker. There's four categories we're gonna be ranking each shoe in. It's comfortability, design of the shoe, the squeak test, and the overall of the shoe for that price point. So let's get right into it. Shaquille O'Neal's sneakers. I respect Shaquille O'Neal for what he did, you know? He had $120 sneakers back in the day with Reebok. A woman came up to him, said, those are nice shoes, but I wish they were affordable for kids who can't afford $120 sneakers. So he said, forget Reebok. I'm making my own sneakers at Walmart for $15, $30. Depends on which one you get. And Today we got the $15 ones. And these have no laces. Just strap them on like that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, comfortable. They feel a little bit flimsy. I might need to make them a little tighter because there's no laces, so they feel super wide. But they are kind of comfy on the bottom. For $15, you would expect your feet to be hurting and feel like I'm walking on the hard floor. I'm. I feel like I'm walking on a little bit of cushion. Not terrible. Super wide though. <laughs> the squeak is non-existent on these boys right here. So for the squeak test, I'm gonna give a zero out of 10. What the heck is this? All right, the design of the sneaker, they're not terrible. I don't like how they're super wide. The design is a five out of 10. Comfortability is actually surprising. For the price point, I give it a seven out of 10 comfortable to play basketball in. I wouldn't recommend doing it for a long time. Might start hurting. But overall, for the price point, I give them a six out of 10. Now I have the Moolah Kicks on. This is a women's sneaker made by a woman, made for women. Right off the bat, the style and design remind me of the Stephen Curry ones. They're already super comfortable. I feel bouncy, I might try to dunk on this one. <laughs> you ready to see a dunk? Oh yeah! All right, I'm about to dunk it. They feel comfortable, they feel su super comfortable. I feel, I feel agile with them on, I feel good. So based on the style of them, I'll give them an 8.5. I'm definitely liking the style, the look of them from the top. And the comfort, I give about an eight out of 10. They're comfortable. Let's try the squeak test. Squeak test is not as good as I want it to be. Ah, <sighs> It's around like a four out of 10, honestly. These run about $125 plus tax. So with that price point, it's in the range of about all the other sneakers that usual basketball sneakers are. I think they're a good sneaker. I give them a seven out of 10 overall. Now I have the Steph Curry 7s on. I like these. When I bought these, the price point was super high. Now that sneakers are kind of low these days, the price point is not as high. Jesser wears these though. Jesser wears the green ones and I wear the orange ones and then sometimes he mismatches. So if I mismatch, then you know we'd be besties, but I gotta get the green ones. So like this video, leave a comment and subscribe so I can have enough money to buy the green ones. Squeak test. They're not, they're not squeaking too much. This is bad, this is super bad. They feel like the mula cake, so I'm gonna have to go with a four out of 10. These boys is comfortable. Comfortability, hands down the best comfortable shoe I've ever put on my feet. Nine and a half out of 10. These are super lightweight. Now the squeak test was a four out of 10, but I've had these for a while. So maybe it's the gym floor, maybe it's the shoes. I never wear my sneakers outside. I take really good care of them, so. Design of the shoe, they're super wide looking down, but from the side and the back, I love the Sour Patch Kit on the back. So I'd have to get the, give these an 8.5 out of 10. Overall, these run about $150 to $175, depending on your size. You would only be able to buy them on Stock X now. So, with that in mind, I'd give them an eight out of 10. I really, really like them. I'd pay $170 for these. I got the Jordan 11s on. You already know a classic sneaker way for Jordan. Obviously Jordan 11s and Jordan 1s. 
Let's start out with the squeak test. All right, so far the best squeaking sneaker. So with that squeak test, I give it like a six out of 10. Comfortability, I don't know, my toe is already hurting in these. They're hurting. They don't have a real comfort on them like the curries or the moolah kicks do. So I wouldn't play or run for long periods of time with these. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for the design of the sneaker. One of my favorite designs of all time for a basketball sneaker. The comfortable level is about a five and a half out of 10. They're not super comfortable. I would not recommend wearing them, honestly. I know people who played in games with them and stuff like that. After a while, I'm sure it hurts, but uh, overall as a basketball sneaker, for the price point, you're looking at for Jordan 11s, Brad 11s, you're looking at 200, 220, 250. Like we're starting to get to the crazy prices up here. So to wear these for basketball at an overall, I give it a six and a half out of 10. Six and a half out of 10 for basketball. Now, if you're just trying to be cool, you know what I'm saying? If you're just trying to walk around with the Jays like everyone else does. All right, now we got the Lamello balls on. Now these are Puma sneakers and I'm not gonna lie. These are probably the most comfortable, like as far as on it, feels like I'm actually on a cloud of some sort. Like they definitely put a cloud in here for it to be like a mid kind of shoe. It's not like Lowe's where it feels super lightweight, but it does have a cloud you're jumping on. So I like that so far. All right, let's get the squeak test going. Oh yeah, these are the best by far. This is an eight and a half out of 10 on the squeak test. That squeaking is phenomenal. I didn't even have to try hard. The design of this shoe is unlike any other basketball sneaker we've seen before. The design and colorway of the sneaker, I really, really like. The comfortability, I give it an eight out of 10 because it's comfortable, but it's missing something. It's super wide in the inside. My foot kind of moves in the inside, but these are my size. I feel like uh, a size tighter would be too tight. I really like the design of the shoe, so I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. And overall on this sneaker, for the price point right now, if you're trying to find these sneakers in this specific size, the last sale was $700. However, I paid a whopping $330 for these shoes. So at that price point, I would give them a seven out of 10. I don't think they're worth $300. They're around the same as the Steph Curry's to me and the Moolah Kicks. So I'd go for a Moolah Kick or the Steph Curry's rather than going for a $300 sneaker. And now it is time for the final sneaker, the most expensive sneaker, $450 Jordan 1s. Now the price may vary depending on your size, but I paid $450 for these. And so we're gonna see if they're really worth it. $450 sneakers, these things better squeak. Okay, great. They passed the squeak test with a nine out of 10. I barely tried to make those squeak, but no Jordan ones are crazy popular right now. And so for the design of the sneaker, it's already a 10 out of 10 because they're J's and they're Jordan ones at that and the colorway is crazy and everyone's fiending. So 10 out of 10 for that. My left foot's starting to hurt a little bit. It's like no real cushion on these. I feel like I'm running on the hardwood. That brings the comfortability down to a six out of 10. And with the price point for the Mocha Jordan ones, I'd have to rank them as a seven out of 10. You can get a lot better quality for your basketball kicks and some of the other options I've mentioned today. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join my Discord, because I'm gonna be doing some Jordan giveaways. I'm also gonna be doing t-shirts, hats, a bunch of giveaways, so join the Discord. Love you, fam. Peace.